Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to talk about a small package called ggpp. This package is very useful when you want to plot a ggplot charts, but you also want to plot a table within the chart, for example, like this or like this. So let's get started. You can use the install.packages command to install it. We would be using these three packages, ggplot2, ggpp, and deployer. Let's use some data. So we would be using the diamonds data set, which comes with the ggplot2 package. And I'll put this in another data frame called D. So if we look at D, we have some data for diamonds, carrots, cut, color, and some other parameters. So let's summarize this data. and I'll create a data set called TB, and I'll group the data by the cut, and then we want to calculate the mean price of that. So let's run it and see a data set. So TB has different cuts and the mean price for each of those cuts. So let's create a ggplot bar chart. On the x-axis, we want to have the cut, and on the y-axis, we want to show the mean price, and then we want to fill it by the cut. So each bar would have different colors, and we just want to plot a bar chart saying jump bar stat equals identity. Let's run this. So here is our bar chart. Now let me add a new command in the script. It's called jump table, and that comes from the ggpp package. So let me run it and show it to you. So this is a chart, and then it also has a small table in there which was nothing but our T TB data set, which we wanted to plot. So the geom table lets us combine the chart as well as the table in that. And you can also control the position of those by the X and Y parameters. Let's, let's see uh, that in the further charts. Here is the most important part of the geom table command. So label has to be a list. See that I've actually created a list out of the, the TB data set which we already have. And let me remove this list first and you would be able to see the difference. So if I just put TB there, it's not going to work because label is expecting a single text label, but we have actually supplied the data to it, like a data set to it or a data frame to it. That's not going to work. So we have to convert this into a list. So if I convert this into a list and I run it, you would get your table. So let's create another chart. And this time we want to create a point chart using the jump point. And then of course we want to plot our table also. So we gave the jump point and jump table as well. And we are adding another command called jump underscore text underscore s. That also comes from the ggpp package. And this lets us put uh, the labels in a nice fashion. So I'm also using the scale color manual to give different colors to each point. And you can see that the points have been plotted in different colors. And of course the table is there. And then we also have our labels nicely placed with some arrow marks or, or straight lines, which was given by the geom text underscore s command. Now the question is, how do you control the position of the table? You can control it by the x and the y value. For example, y value and x value controls the position. I'm changing the values and you can see that the table placement is changing. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found this information practical and useful. I'll see you in the next one.